it's me again there are two reasons for this video the first one is that you guys want to see it i've got a lot of comments about it in the past couple of years and the second number two is that youtube apparently wants to see it as well youtube is in a state of immense confusion at the moment confusion about creators who don't appear in their videos and they think that um, we compile third-party content basically and don't create our own content so let's show them shall we let's show them This is a little sketch I drew on a tissue one night of an idea I had and I will show you how I created it in Photoshop. This is the base layer, this forest. The next is the fur I drew for the cat and then the cat himself that I put together his eyes and his whiskers the trees that I drew with photoshop brushes the fog I also drew with photoshop brushes the girl my husband actually drew the figure of the girl with the lantern so that's his work and next I'm going to show you the effects I put on the picture in After Effects these are all the layers in After Effects I made the fog move, put together different layers of fog. I made the girl's hair move as well as if it were blowing in the wind. I, we made actually a green screen for the lantern. I'm showing that to you right now. We made this green screen of the lantern and then I placed the lantern in her hand. I motion tracked the lantern and put a glow on it so it follows the movement of the lantern and here you can see it from a close-up I made the cat's fur move as well animated his fur as you can see his little fur moves his whiskers move as well as if he were sniffing and um, his eyes glow as well I made his eyes glow and right here I'm showing you what I put on just her hair. So all these things, all these effects are just on her hair. I also use a Wacom tablet. I use the Intuos Art. This is an example of how we record some green screen footage. I use the Nikon D3300 DSLR. And there's just a little green screen taped on the wall. We record all sorts of stuff in front of it so I can place it in the videos like this. Little chimes on the tree. Little compositing work and it's in the video now. If for some reason I can't make something happen visually, then my husband draws it for me. He's an illustrator and he draws everything by hand on his Wacom Cintiq 16. This is another green screen we recorded. It's a rain on window green screen that we made by taping the green screen on the glass in the shower and pushed a wet rag above the green screen so that it dripped down on the glass. I edited the picture my husband drew and I'm placing the green screen footage on it keying it, mapping out the window so that it doesn't drip on anything else. I'm mapping out 
every little candle, and here it is. This is another green screen. I recorded candles and their flames. I recorded them from multiple angles with different lighting. I blew on them as well to make them move a little bit. And here I am placing the flame on the candle in the picture. Years after I placed it on all of them. I also like to duplicate each flame, enlarge them and blur them, and reduce the opacity so that it gives them this candle-like glow. And here's the finished product of the candles and the rain on the window. I also use black screen sometimes with the dogs, for example. Here I recorded my dog in front of a black screen and magically she's inside a spirit forest. I use the Tascam DR40 to record sounds. And for this particular video, I needed some cat purring, obviously. And I recorded it with both an X direction of the microphones and a Y direction, which means that I can get more of a surround sound. I also recorded the chimes. And some tree sounds outside. And I used dried up flowers to simulate the sounds of bushes. You can hear quill sounds in various of my videos, which are recorded like this. And even armor sounds in certain fantasy-themed ones, which I use my husband's jacket for. We have fun with coming up with different sound ideas, like we simulated a horse's footsteps with wooden boxes or made potion sounds with a specific Hungarian vegetable dish. And finally I put everything together in Premiere Pro. I usually spend hours just adding different effects to the sound recordings, making them flow well with each other and create the atmosphere that I want. And this is the finished project. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek behind the curtain. I also hope that YouTube will think that our content is original enough. <laughs>